Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Let's, oh, I forgot about the crab. Let's sell some stuff and then... We'll call it a day. Uh... Okay. Uh, I don't need the... What does this one do? Trick timpani... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the piano thing. Fish in a sack. Keep those... Well... Yeah, I'll keep those. I'm not gonna be in combat. I don't need a ranged perk. I'm not in combat. I'm not in combat. I'll keep that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Projectile Ice Maker. Hm. No. Okay, save those. This is a gag thing, so I don't need it. That. Boost. I don't need the hot rod, I have the cursed rod. Save these because they're boosting. Oh, right, that's the universal. Actually, maybe I should just wear those pants. Hmm. Save that just in case. Oh, I need to keep one crappy hat. I forgot it's a thing. Later on. Uh, don't need that. Save. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I think that should about do it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I need to pick a new store. Let me see what my options are. I'll tell her first. Potion store. Well, that's weapons and that's gear. Give me the potion store. Because you can get a good potion in the last day that does all your stats. Oh, right. The poster. And the steam vent. I forgot crimp limbs. I forgot I got that. It's so empty compared to my other playthrough. Oh, is this stream gonna change? Yeah, it does change. Right, right, right. Oh, I forgot to buy the souvenir pennant. Oh, the statues. Yeah, that eye's new. Uh, shut one of them up. I want the one... Wait, flip a coin and three side. What does this do? Oh, I don't want that. It, it randomly picks one. That's funny, but I don't want that. I want to get rid of the Moxie one. Because Moxie is... Seems like it's given to you pretty easily in this playthrough. So I want to shut up the one with the hip shades, because then I get muscle and mysticality. Yeah. Nineteen twenty-eight already. Curse me for not taking calendar into the into the stacks. She is she the one or the previous one? Familiar energy. He's been testing my wards. I fear I won't be able to hold out much longer. 
Perhaps through this there is an ending, one can hope. Okay, bye. Yep, and now she's gonna... Yep, the big moist! Uh, so I'm gone, I'm gone. Oh, I have a message. Oh, right from Rufus. Okay. So I gotta do his thing with the radios. Let's take Obi. Oh, did Simone dance here? Oh, she's just in the back playing an instrument. Or, actually, I guess she's just playing on her calculator. Oh, never mind. Oh, these guys. Ooh, I have experience. Um, all right, let's go to SIT campus first. And I want to buy the uh, pennant. Cool. All my base stats are uh, eight now. There it is. How could I forget? Let's go to Rufus. Yep. All oh, right, I have the extra eggs. Uh, next step is radio stuff. Oh wait, I have to do the radio shack and then I get the radios. Right, right, right. Um, I guess let's go to the moist, right? Yeah, the big moist. Swamped. Hey bud, let's chew the fat a bit. Hey man, we got time for me to take a little detour. It occurs to me there's an old shack I used to squat in out this way. I ain't been back there in a dog's age and there's something I left there that I ought to get. Oh, what is it? Eh, nothing worth going into detail on. Just a reminder of a bum deal I made back when I was an up-and-comer. Sold something I shouldn't have. Oh, that's always rough. When I went to college, I sold all my old comic books. Wish I still had those. This, uh, ain't in the same category of thing, but sure. Okay, I'll wait here. Well, there she is. Can't believe you spent as much time living here as you did, if you can call it living. Also can't believe the place is still standing, to be honest. Guess it just kind of stuck around like a bad penny. Trying to keep a campfire lit in this swamp is like trying to teach a dog to whistle. Good, your old file cabin is still here. Let's just hope it ain't filled up with water, or wasps. There it is, bad as new. Obi, old boy, you done some damn fool things in your time on this green earth. But signing this parchment was your damn foolingest. You grit your teeth. Gonna have to do something about this, and you ain't gonna like doing it. Someday you ought to learn to play the piano. Not this one, though. This lamp has never seemed to run out of oil. Funny thing, that. Looks like your old mattress has gone on to its final reward. These really failed to spruce up the place. Hey, man. Hey, my man, Obi's back and ready for action. Hey, Obi, how was your walk down memory lane? More like getting rolled in an alley off memory skid row, if I'm being honest. Well, we've all got our demons, I guess. My man, you ain't said the half of it. Come on, let's ankle. <coughs> let's get some opinions from Obi. Everything good, Obi? Smooth as silk, my friend. You know, it just occurred to me. This swamp ought to be Mosquito Central, but I'm not getting bit at all. Oh, that's on account of my citronella aftershave. It's a natural insect repellent. Huh, that's clever. My fen my friend, tricks like that are professional hobo stock and trade. I sure hope Charles is okay. Still okay. That cat's got a real steady head on his shoulders. I wouldn't worry too much about him. Heck, he might have already escaped and made his way back to the antique store. If he has, I'll kill him. Hmm, what's up? I'm trying to think of something to talk about, but I'm not coming up with anything. We're in the middle of a swamp, my man. Can we leave this swamp now? Is a question that basically overrides all their topics of discourse. You know, when I agreed to join you on this little adventure, I didn't know I was signing up to a slogging around a swamp. Could be worse. Could be a sewer. I feel like that's a distinction without much difference. 
Yeah, sorry. If it helps, I don't know about this when I... I didn't know about this when I signed up. I suppose we both ought to be more careful about this sort of thing in the future. Okay. Let's wander. Oh, right. You slog through the swamp. Your slog through the swamp is interrupted by an unfortunately familiar face. Halt, interloper. Your pernicious interference ends here. Ah, oh, jeez, not you again. Indeed, it is I. And I'll give you even more cause to regret this encounter. You may have thought yourself clever, hiding in the institute where the Dean's wards would protect you from our attentions. But now you've left that protection behind, and furthermore encroached on the source of our power. You have made yourself extremely vulnerable. I'm just looking for my uncle. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about the Dean, or your plans, or those weird dreams, or any of it. Regardless of these claims, you will not leave this place unscathed. Quite the opposite. So, like, scathed? Indeed. Well, fine. I'm not scared of an accountant. What are you going to do, embezzle me to death? Terrence pulls a gun out of his jacket. I've decided to balance these books in a more dis direct fashion. Swell. Ooh, speak the words of truth. Your eyes glow black. You can't actually see that. It wouldn't make any sense, but I thought I should tell you. Blah. Impossible. Blah. Do you think you can frighten me, frighten me with such empty threats? You're bluffing. You can't possibly... Lies. Slander. No. Terence returns and flees like the rat he is. Your number's up, Poindexter. Oh, wow, that worked out. Because otherwise with pacifist, I'd have no other way to deal with him. Hey, it's him! Suddenly, a tuft of swamp shrubbery. Shrubbery? Parts? And a man with the head of an alligator pops out, glaring at you. Whoop, uh, hello. You must be one of the gator men Jessica was talking about, huh? Human? How human? Well, both my parents... Smell wrong! Not human stink. Check your pits. You basically smell normal, as far as you can tell in the swamp. Dark stink. Shadow stink. Huh. You know about the shadow stuff? Shadow good. Good stink. Like stink. Wow. This is a real roller coaster of a conversation. I follow. Kill enemies. Eat enemies. Name Alphonse. Can I call you Al? No. Can you at least stop yelling? Grrrah. Fine. Alphonse has joined you as a companion. I will send him back to the speakeasy. I've got something I need to finish up first. I'm drawing you a map to the speakeasy where we all hang out. I'll swing by and pick you up later, okay? Grr, I hate waiting. It won't be long. Just trying to eat anyone in there, okay? No promise. Alphonse stomps away in the direction of this bus stop. Good luck, bus. While sloshing your way through the swamp, you and Obi stumble into the most horrible situation you've ever encountered. A mosquito breeding pond. They aren't unusually monstrous or alien mosquitoes, just normal ones. But there's a lot of them. Close your eyes for a second and imagine this. A swarm of mosquitoes so dense you... No, hey, don't close your eyes until after I've told you. Or you won't... No, open your eyes. I said open your eyes. Alright, well, anyway, it's a lot of mosquitoes, okay? It takes ages for you to fight them off and get away, and in the process you swat hundreds, possibly thousands of the awful little bastards. It's only worth tiny fractions of an experience point each, but it adds up. You know... I recall there's an old boxcar out this way that passing hobos in ca camp in from time to time. We could check it out, see if anyone's in. A boxcar? In the middle of the swamp? Yeah, beats me. Maybe a train took a wrong turn and got lost. I'm joking. Oh, thank God. Maybe later. About 20 copy. Oh, right, this one. Uh. Uh. Cross out this one. Inquire, Charles. <laughs> Brilliant. Perfect word. Oh, this is the swampy vampire guy. Directions. See you later. A whispered woodwind melody drifts quietly along in the thick swamp air. A perfectly pleasant accompaniment to the swamp's soundscape. The needle of your cursed compass is twitching violently. So whatever's going on is probably not pleasant at all. You track the music north-south along the river. The plaintive song you find issues from the mouth of a clarinet stuck in the muddy shore. The instrument wails for the return of its owner, but if the pones occasionally bursting to the river's surface in swampy belches are any indication, it will be waiting a long time. Take the clarinet. And onward we go. All of a sudden you hear a gator man screaming wildly to your left. Ah! Oh, this one. Can I do anything if I don't... They do not leave. Well, they do eventually, but not before beating the crap out of you. Uh, sure.
What is this? Suddenly, silently, a flock of shadowy bats fly up out of the swamp, leaving not a single ripple on the surface of the water as they do so. It is, quite frankly, the gothiest thing you've ever seen in your life, and you probably fought actual vampires by now. Fly with them. In the shadow, there is no difference between the sky and the water. All is all. All is one. Drink the clouds. Drink yourself. Oh. A black shape looms into view. At first, it's difficult to make out from the silhouette, but it seems to be a massive shadow brute. It doesn't immediately react to your presence. Perhaps it's facing away, although it's hard to tell. From its movements, it seems to be eating something. Then another shape, a flappy bat wing shape, unfurls itself on the brute's shoulder and screeches noiselessly at you. The brute starts to turn around. Dine with them. The meal's revealed. It is yourself. You share the re... re... repast? That was weird. Oh, this... this one? What great aunt? Uh, I'll have to pay for my family's sword. No oh, thanks, I'm good for swords. Is it too late to get the sword? You gingerly you reach a tone of the swamp water and straight away hit mud. The pool in which the woman stood is less than an inch, inch deep. Oh, you can just not do it. Ow. Now show me the other shadow, or compass one. Oh. You notice a big brown rock half submerged in the swamp. It's an ancient mammoth copperlith. You can almost tell what the mammoth had for breakfast. Oh, mosquitoes again. Ooh. As you and Obi are sludging through the trudge and or trudging through the sludge, Obi passes pauses for a moment. Hey kid, what do you think the chances are that this was an old uncivil war battlefield? This far west? Pretty low, I'd say. Obi points to a lichen-covered skeleton wearing the tatters of an uncivil war uniform slumped against a rock. Oh. Maybe he was lost? The two of you search the skeleton, but all of its gear has rotted into uselessness. Except for a rifle bayonet. Obi cleans it off and fixes it to the front of his oboe. Yeah, baby, now we're hitting on all sixes. Alright, well, I got that. Let's go back. Oh, I gotta get a drink. Right. I also gotta fix my injuries. Let's also grab Simone. <laughs> look at Alphonse dancing. You can make Alphonse look even cooler. Uh, order a drink. I guess... I guess... Actually... Yeah, give me this. Sure. Uh, let's quickly go wash our face. No, let's bamboozle them. Listen, you guys are going about this all wrong. You'll get more useful part, usable parts of the child if you take it back to your... Oh, okay, that's the same as before. Oh, never mind, it isn't. Usable parts off the child if you take it back to your garage first instead of trying to strip it quick and dirty on the street before a cop shows up. Huh? Well, yeah, we usually do. But Hotwire Nancy is visiting her ma today. Good thing you met me then. You two go on ahead and I'll get your tools ready and I'll get the car there for you. You? What are you going to do about it? You give her a wink and shoot her the old finger guns. It just so happens I know a guy who both owes me a favor and owns a record truck. Play your cards right, maybe you could know that guy too. Huh. Well, all it takes is a phone call. Here, lend me your wrench in case this old filiver objects objects to the tow hook. Two of, you, two of them puzzle over your cool grin for a moment and then shrug at each other. Alright, we'll go unlock the garage door. Don't take all day. She tosses you the wrench, and the two of them head off down the street. Suckers. Ooh. I really need to find a... A, uh... Oh, let me talk to her first. This situation is utterly barfulous. My robot isn't equipped to handle these conditions. Maybe you can make some modifications? Model after something that's native to the environment, like the Gatorman? You want me to make a robot that's maximally grumpy and eats everything it sees? Oh, can, you take a, can you make a robot that would deal with these mosquitoes? Uh, I could make a backpack with several articulated fly sweater arms that would flail around. That doesn't seem... Or maybe a hat? No, the battery pack would make it too heavy. Never mind. No, hang on. I'm really thinking about this now. Wait a sec while I make some sketches. 
Is quicksand a swamp thing or just a jungle thing? Mainly swamps. Don't worry about it though. Quicksand isn't as big a deal as popular entertainment would have you believe. Oh, really? Yeah, human body isn't dense enough to sink all the way in quicksand. At most, you get up to your waist and get stuck. Then you either die of thirst or get eaten by wild animals. That's a load off my mind, thanks. So tell me about this Charles guy who got kidnapped. I don't know him very well, but he's the antique store's handyman? There's a lot of weird machines there, and he keeps everything running. Oh wow, he's your wizard? Jeez, I hope he's okay. I don't think he uses magic, he's just good at fixing stuff. No, I mean, well, anyway. Hopefully I'll get a chance to chat with him later. Maybe I can pick his brain for, on some stuff. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's find her wander event. You there! What? An excessively jovial man struts up from behind the trees. New to these parts, is it? Ever heard of Mudhenge? I'll bet you didn't know that it's actually 1.3 times larger than any comparable henge you'd care to name. No, I didn't know that. But the man has already disappeared into the mist. Behind him, through the trees, is Mudhenge. Okay. Wait, here's a sad sight. Old house, abandoned long ago to the swamp, half sunk in the wet- Oh, right, this one. This weird thing with the ring, right? <laughs> Weep openly. These are the vampires I can't fight. Where's the other shadow event? Yeah, yeah, you're looking for the thing. Ooh, lots of stuff. <clears throat> Is this the hot dog? Yeah. You and Simone stopped to investigate an abandoned campsite. Nothing much left. Whoever's camp this was, they came and went ages ago. Must have left quick. This lean-to is made of primo-grade canvas. Hang on a sec. What are you doing? Shame to let it go to waste, and being both an engineer and a girl who grew up on a farm, I've got a pretty decent repertoire of clothing hacks in my arsenal. After a while or two, Simone has repurposed the canvas tarp into a stylish and durable military-style flight jacket. You know, you watch. Someone will write a novel about this jacket someday. They'll probably get the color wrong, though. Is this a... Is this a gag? Is that a, is that a reference to something? I don't know that reference. Alright, let's go get... Let's go get my favorite. Oh, actually, let's check what's in the... Uh, the old chemiker. Mm-hmm. What do you got for sale? Range damage, meat drops, damage, damage, AP. Oh, miscellaneous chemicals. Okay. So I guess I can just buy those if I want to make really good po- Actually... What kind of potions can I make? Also, I've gotten some new potions, haven't I? Muscle by one. Okay. Oh, so there is a potion for each type with shadow stuff. What about the foods? There's a muscle, physicality, and a moxie. Cool. Uh, use it now. What can we make with fancy? I can make some good elemental armors. I can make these. Okay. So there are options, but I don't really need any of it right now. I know on the last day she has a potion that does plus one to all your stats, which is insane. Uh, let's get Alphonse. Hi, Alphonse. You getting along and okay here? Boo's okay. Too thin. Wanna come with me for a while? Hmm, wait, door. Outside. How's my favorite, most murderous friend? What want? Smell human, mouth water. Say, did you read a, ever eat a goblin? Oof, dizzy make, swirl, swirl colors. Trip bad. So here we are in Ocean City. What do you think of it? Yeah. Oh, I bet it'll grow on you. It's probably a good thing there aren't that many, all that many people around. You'd cause a lot of questions. Who ask? Kill asker. Well, that's kind of an extreme solution. Hungry. Eat human? No, it would probably be a bad idea to eat the people here. Ah, humans many, just one, not miss. Well, only if we get mugged or something. Hey, you know, people say there are alligators that live in the city. Do you think, know if it's true? City stank, all sewer. I do enjoy your unique perspective on things. Alright, let's get his event here. Alphonse gets a wild look in his... Oh! Well, no. Hold on a second. 
Glares around as if searching for something. What's up? Smell something. Smell tentacle. Tentacle? Kill tentacle. Eat tentacle. Go there. Oh, so Alphonse is a way to get to the tentacle house without... Oh, but I can't actually do anything in here, can I? Well, I guess I can go into the bathroom. I can't do much in here, but at least I have access to it now. I bet there's no, like, tentacle spray. Toilet ring. Ah. I used that for a long time. Rush ring. Okay, that's all we're doing here. No, this again. Nope. Come on, Alphonse, where's your event? Give me a pickle. No, don't want it. Oh, God, what is that screeching metal sound? Alphonse, what are you doing to that car? Sharpen claws. Well, I guess that's okay. That's... Okay, now what are you doing? Sure, for sure. Alphonse's tail swipe now reduces enemy stats by one more. Mm -hmm. You, take thing. What the... Did you steal someone's clothesline? Yes. It's all weird. It feels evil. Evil clothes. Jorts. Okay, the crystal dream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Come on. Wait, as you make your way down the forest path, you hear a rustling in the bushes behind you. Jeez, what is it with the forest creatures and their constant bush rustling? Don't they have anything better to do? You turn to admonish them and come face to sternum with two massive tusked shadow brutes who have somehow become jammed shoulder to shoulder between two large trees. I guess they were too busy stalking you to pay attention to the surroundings? You have about three seconds before they figure a way out of their Laurel and Hardy-esque predicament. You approach the brutes, silently, unwavering. They sniff the air, smell you, grunt recognition. One hands you a paper bag. Is it lunch? <laughs> it's lunch? They turn and hulk back into the shadows. Oh, wait. Idea. Where's my rings? If I equip the Mobius ring here and wander, maybe... Found thing, you take. Okay. What in the... This is a bomb. Where'd you find a bomb? Tree stump. I don't know how to react to this at all. Shut up. Free bomb. While walking through the forest surrounding Crystal Dream Lake, you suddenly hear a horrific grinding sound. What the heck is that horrific grinding sound? Brush teeth. I respect good dental hygiene, but it shouldn't sound like that. Wait, are you brushing your teeth with a file? Make sharp. Remove tartar. Swamp Chomp now deals five additional damage. Come on, find myself. No. Oh. Wait, what? Before you even get to decide whether to avoid him or not, another you strolls up and to you strolls up to you and tosses the bag of a bag of stuff. Here you go, have fun. Oh no, come on, you know, I'll have to give them No no, it's fine. You can use those. I'm not a time loop you. I'm a parallel universe you. He holds up his hand and shows you a ring that looks like two separate loops interlinked. Different rings, see? Huh, well okay then, thanks. No sweat, gotta run after asking my Aunt Martha from Evil Clowns. He leaves the with a wave. Bye. So I guess I can't trigger the Mobius stuff. Alright. I'm sure. Oh wait, I don't need to be here anymore then. Uh oh wait. I gotta talk I have to talk to my bud. Hang in there, Alphonse. Contentious snort. It's a shame the weather's so gloomy. This would be a nice place for a stroll if it wasn't all spooky. Alphonse rolls his eyes and makes a repetitive hand gesture. I'm a little surprised you know that one, but I guess some things are universal. Hey game, what hand gesture did he just make? This forest must be right up your alley, alright? Just like home. Ah, too dry. Well, there's a lake in the middle, too clean. We should be careful, there are giant spiders in these woods. Ooh, land crab. Land crab? Huh. Suck legs, meat good. 
Do they have fairies in the swamp? The ones in these woods are real bastards. Flying snacks, rare now. Well, it's no more than they deserve. Oh, okay. What does he have to say about the campus? I don't think I ever talked to him here. Hi, Alphons. Snarl. Make small talk? They're doing a lot of work on robotics here. Do you have any interest in robots? What that? Well, they're labor-saving devices. Basically, imagine a machine that kills stuff for you. Steel kills? Ah, kill robot. It's kind of strange that nobody's bothered us, or even really noticed that I'm walking around campus with a gator man. Maybe they assume you're my thesis project. Human stupid! Sure, or that. Do gator men have schools? Not fish. No, I breathe air. Yeah, I... Human dumb. Get education. Hey, what about sports? Do gator men play sports? What sports? Sports are like... Well, they're like... Sort of like battles or fighting. Except you aren't actually trying to kill any... You know what? Never mind. Huh? So this place is famous for mathematics. Gator men probably don't have a lot of use for math, I'm guessing. Racist. Gator men math? Math lots. Oh, sorry. What sort of math do you do? Count kills. Keep score. Alright, Alphonse. What kind of wacky... Oh. Oops. Yeah, sure. Wait. That's the same book I sold already. Chomp, chomp. I'm not really... I'm not sure I really want to know, but what are you eating? Mm. What? Book. Smart now. That's not how it works. Alphonse's mysticality increases by one. Oh. Ow, my ankle. I need to stop buying those books. There's no point. Ooh. With a not exactly audible hiss, several of the strange bar-shaped st shadows you saw at the fridge factory slide into view from nowhere. They arrange themselves into a circle and orbit around the central point, which opens like an eye, revealing a diamond-shaped prism of black shadow. Man, are any of the geometry professors around? They would really want to see this. You sense the meaning. Lines become vectors, vectors become instructions, instructions become whispers. The lines condense and encage the prism. It will wait for release. Hey, look here. Weapons room. This is a music classroom. These are musical instruments. Not clubs? Not guns? Look, cannons! Those are tubas. Ah, worthless. You take. Shadow clarinet. Where do you find that? Oh, okay, so once you take and you get certain injuries, you don't keep getting them. Let me go rinse my boo-boos. Oh, maybe I should activate... I might turn off Pacifist for one thing, and it's with uh, Alphonse. You, come talk. Alphonse starts sniffing the air and goes wild-eyed with anger. Well, wilder-eyed. He back! What? Who back? I mean, who's? Abner. Worst gator man. Hated enemy. Oh, what'd he do? Not fight. Go hide. Coward. What'd he do to you, though? The very act of summing the words causes Alphonse to vibrate with rage. Stole sunglasses. Oh my god. Cool shades. Mine. Took. Kill. Yes, go kill him right now. Track smell, walk, swim, run, find Abner, find enemy, smell strong, closer now, find kill. Smell here, Abner here, kill, destroy, cool shades. There, Abner, ass gator, kill. Hey, hi, just breaking in here to let you know, you're in pacifist mode, and there's no pacifist solution for this one. Also, this is just my opinion, but Alphonse is a really weird choice of companion for a pacifist run. Oh. Well, okay. You sure? That was kind of the game. I was wondering if the game might say, What? Leave? Abner alive? No shades? Go kill. This stupid. Leave. Mm. Hey, how'd it go? Rod, ah, shut up. No talk. Sheesh, okay. Wait, can I... Okay, so I can do it at any point, but... Basically, if you do that and you kill Abner... It, uh, he gets cool sunglasses for the rest of the game. And you need to do it for his vignette, but if I'm doing pacifist, I guess I won't. 
No, thank you. Hmm. Fine food, you take. Oh, thanks. Shadow Pickle. Where did you find this hole? Could you let... No, shut up. Distinct amongst the interminable muck, your shoes crunch in a crisp sheet of paper. It's a note. I'll be waiting for you, it reads in our special place, the swamp, with your favorite cucumber and grapes. C. The cursed compass stirs into action, needle gestures in a west-northerly direction. C, whoever she is, has been waiting all right. You find her in repose on the shore of a shallow pool of swamp water. She's been waiting for some time going by the fact that she's now a skeleton. And going by what's happened to the cucumber and great... The cucumber became a pickle in the grapes of wine. Right, let's start cleaning stuff out. Oh, the guy who tells me to leave. Ramshackle cabin. Alright, so I think I just need to follow the uh, tire tracks. Check out the cave. Oh, and then we got one of the. Right, I have to find these three. Actually, maybe I should. Maybe I should do that first if I get the key. Ooh! There was just a clarinet in the swamp. Okay. Okay. Hello, fellas. Remember me? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. What happened? Kind of snag. Let's see what I can do. Ooh, it's a vein of confident limestone. Get some advice. You listen carefully to the stone. It gives you good advice and materials with which to implement it. Okay. Ooh. They growl at you menacingly, plainly too sozzled to just jump up and attack you. On the other hand, if you get too near their booze, that could change in an instant. The gatormen sort of squint at you and continue drinking. They don't seem impressed. Maybe try again? Heard you. Get lost. Oh, they're immune to the crazy... Oh. Well, you guys are really into that baby formula. You must be missing some vitamins or something. Boo's good. Wait. Baby? Yeah, we feed this stuff to human babies so they grow up big and strong, like me. You hold up your arm and pat a barely visible bicep. Drink. Booze makes strong. Human weak. Humans weak. Hey, now. I lived on that stuff when I was a kid, and I'm in peak physical shape. Want to see me do a push-up? I'm feeling pretty good. I bet I could do two or three. The Gatorman is so disgusted by this, they drop the bottles and stomp away without even pausing to beat you up. Nice. I dealt with the Gators. Oh, and I gotta fix the car? Oh. Okay, get out of here, fellas. And I got whiskey. Is whiskey the one that's muscle... Actually, that might be muscle moxie. I should want to check what happens if I go to the... Can I do anything? Like, this is probably locked out to me completely, right? Train's full. Train's full. You'll have to go somewhere else. Oh, so I can't even go to his weird house. Oh, well. No big loss. Thank you for the clarinet. Mm-hmm. Wait, did she say Malcolm? I never noticed that. Okay. Uh, I'd like to visit. Here you go. Looking for someone. Another. Yep. Tourist going missing. Is that dangerous? Have you seen Charles? Can I have a guest book? I'm not even going. I'll be on my way. All right. Let me just quickly look up the solution to Mudhenge because I don't feel like f dealing with it again. This is a weird enough experience the first time I played the game. Uh, Mudhenge. Mudhenge. 
Come on, give me the directions. It is... It, it, it is... Okay, I need west, north. Oh, actually, can I read this? Nope. West, north. South. West, north. Oh. South. And then east. And then... South. Oh, there's something over here now. Oh. East. West, east, east. And then west, east. There they are. Alright, now I need to not be wearing stuff, right? Uh, can I do it if I just take off the hat? I don't want any trouble. An interloper, Henry. Oh, please do kill him. You must. I'm not looking if that's what you're worried about. Why don't you kill him, Camilla? You won't find it any different to the deer. I think he might be done soon. We'll eat him, won't we, Henry? Then we'll live forever. Won't we, Henry? Okay, they're very crazy. Okay, let's take off... I think I can just take off the pants. Okay. Do I need maybe take off the accessory. I'm curious how much you have to take off. Did you really just take off everything? Can I leave my shoes? Nope. You have to take off everything. There we go. But you can leave. I have my rat still. a lot of people want this. I hate mud, I hate mud naked. Let's re-equip all my stuff. Um, what did I even have? I don't remember what I had. Oh, the compass, right. Uh, I guess I can just equip something for better stats right now. Okay, compass on the altar. Uh, meat, right? All right, the west north arch. Right, right, right. Now I go in here. It takes me this place. Wreck of the longer fellow. Forge ahead with low to moderate purpose. Okay, another camp. Crusty roll. What does that do? Physical armor. Oh, wait. I can just walk past that thing? Okay, so I can't deal with any of the things down here. That's fine. Oh, I did remember the date puzzles and stuff. Uh-oh. Did I get stuck? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Not vigorously. What happened? Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Let's... 20 hot armor. Oh, what was that? It's Captain Shadow. Okay. Year, year, month, day, month, day. So what was it? It was 45... 0014. Right, that's how it went. 
There we go. Dan, Dan, we're all broke upon thine wheel. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Can't go there. That's fine. Oh! Oh, so that's why that's there. The deckhand's pants. Oh, okay, let me take a picture. Take a picture of the thing, because I'm not going to remember it, or I could just look it up, but whatever. It's fine. Maritime humor. I do's eat the note. Oh, the unglorious tear. Right. Nope, that's not right. Okay, back up. Uh huh. Oh, okay, so it corrects you no matter what you say to that. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I don't have any stench armor? Really? Okay. VH. Oh, right, there's nothing. Wait, no, what was the thing? Standard combination has worked the deckhand pat. Alright, so I gotta use the deckhand. Stop asking me to back up every time. I swear to God. Deckhand. Deckhand is day, month, day, year, month, day. Oh, God. Okay, so day, first day, second day. Forty, five, and a four? Wait, what? Day, year, month, day, year, month. Oh, wait, I have the day in, right. Uh, it should be like this. There it is. Actually, let me not delete that just yet. Cool beans. Okay, so I don't think I need anything. Except to get... Oh, wait. Uh, I think this boat's gonna crash. Stop the boat. Da-da-da. Da-da-da. Da-da. Okay. Who are you? Yeah, this was a weird thing that kind of never... I wonder if it's a reference to the Kingdom of Loathing. I kind of would like to keep that, because isn't that a plus one to all stats? Yeah, that would be nice to have. But then again, I'm not going to wear it, because I'm sticking to the shadow stuff I have. Uh, throw it through... Throw it... Uh, I'll throw it through the time door. Now he's here. That's fine. Oh, I can freak out the crows up here again. This is a fun dialogue. I'll read it. Scarier than a crow. Uh, oh. The giant and ghoulish crow asserts unchallenged dominion over the boat's top deck. And he rules not through love, but fear. For what is scarier than a crow? What's that? A human? Outscare a crow? If you would figure a way to do it, then let the rest of us know, would you? For you'd be the first in the history of the world. Invent avian obscenities. 
The crow pales like a dolphin at the guillotine and scurries as fast as his giant wings can flap. Allons. Scare him to death. That's one scrow one crow scared off, but two? Not even an actual scarecrow could manage that. Tear an invisible encyclopedia in half. The crow's dark feathers turn white, and with the last vestiges of his strength, he abandons the deck and communal nests. Word of a Trixie crow fightner spreading fast along the boat. Soon the myth itself will evolve its own life and thoughts. Glower like a god. The crow staggers overboard, grasping at his last scraps of sanity like a sudden tear in the bathing suit. His pa this power is yours. This power of yours is one to be used responsibly. No, it's not. Oh. The whole swamp is now is fertilized, and it hatches with mutterings of a man who gobbles up the courage of crows, much like so much country stew. So mythic is this figure, nobody would believe that you, immortal, is he, unless you show them. Uh. Actions, not words. Flex your tongue with malice. The first farmer to scare, stick a scarecrow in his wheat fields was, was never really satisfied with his creation. Sure, it worked. But it didn't look like what he'd seen in his mind. The thing he saw, those thousands of years ago, was you. In this moment, you are the Scarecrow. You've always been the Scarecrow. But I don't want to be a Scarecrow. Okay, is there anything I need to actually find up here? I'll lock the door. Hey, Captain Dan. You're not real. What are you? Uh-huh. Wasn't very difficult. Land powers, as I say. Was I not supposed to rescue you? What have you done, Dan? No questions. A chance, huge amount of meat. Why'd you try and kill me? Just kill everyone who comes across the boat. You're. Who made you this way? Nice. Who can't let you live? I can't let you continue to operate. You can roast him. Wait. This mutiny on my own rubber boat. Try if you must, land lover, but know that it's never been done. You may as well try to roast an egg. You can roast an egg. If you boil it first, maybe, otherwise you'd be looking at a big mess. I could fight you and easily win, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, uh, Logic is strained. Misinterpret the time of your life. If you were a sailor. Ooh! Kevin Dan dangles uncomfortably from his rod grafts. Kevin Dan's wooden noggin starts to spin like an owl on a merry-go-round. Captain Dan's limbs spin and spin, threatening to overheat until instead he whimpers into non-existence. He feared you the most, Shadow, and always did. For all his faults of logic, he fancied himself a sailor to his wooden bones. And it is a tenet of nautical prophecy that the only thing that can kill a sailor is a man from the land. It's my rowboat now, buddy. Bo oh. No, oh, he just dies the same way. Let's go back to Mudhenge. Owie. Hey, uh, how'd you find me? You! You leave, I leave, find here. How'd you know to look from here? Coincidence! Okay, where's this middle again? Let's... Um... You know what? Uh, let's do the mud. Ah, uh, life-giving mud. Nectar of the gods. You can now feel strength and renewal flowing through. Do you like to ask for meat? The needle swings smooth this time to the southern arch. Oh. So I can get meat and mud. Where am I? Mud. Mud straight from the henge. Discard. You mold the mud into a miniature mud henge and hide it away in the hopes of s that some future race of tiny people will discover and wonder at its origins. Nice. All right, so you can get this no matter what. Uh, maybe, hmm, I'm kind of tempted to leave Alphonse. Nah, because he's going to keep wanting to do this. Yeah, but it's fine. Did I do, did I get Alphonse's... Oh, he gives you a random food here. I thought it was always a hot dog. Oh. Ooh. 
What kind of talking is- uh, The vampires collapsed to the ground, clutching the sides of their heads and moaning in pain. Dang it! Dang it! This is worse than the time we tried making whiskey out of toads! Yeah, You never lick a toad? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Here we go. Ah, why here? Swamp dumb, we go. What, you don't like the swamp? It's your home. Bad home. All mud. Smell gross. Well, what about your family? Alphonse stares at you incredulously. Oh, come on. Surely this place is good for something. Yes, make angry. Oh. Okay, well. We're going to explore the swamp with Alphonse in the next episode. Actually, why am I keeping? I... He doesn't really match the playthrough anyway. He was fun for my other one. I'm going to switch back to uh, Obi. The fact that he's the only hobo that will talk to me is kind of matches the whole weirdness of this run. Yeah, come with me. Although Elephants does have some fun dialogue in the swamp, but it's fine. Right, we'll continue in the next episode, so thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next step up real soon, but until then, bye.